Hi, Robin. I'm surprised you're not on the Quidditch pitch. I was headed that way when I got distracted by this! Fireworks! These aren't just any fireworks. They're Weasley's wildfire whiz-bangs. Where'd you get them? They were just sitting here. No one was around, so I thought I'd try some out. What did it hurt? You could blow yourself up, or get detention. Come on, you know you want to see what they can do. Oh, all right. Maybe just one. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Weasley. What are you doing here? Just pop by to see my old friend Neville. I mean, Professor Longbottom. He insists on being called that. Can't imagine why. Enjoying the wildfire whizbangs, are you? Yes, they're fantastic. Oh, are these yours? They were. Now they're yours. Just don't tell the headmistress. Thanks! You know, right after Fred and I invented these, we unleashed them rather unceremoniously during the OWLs. It was quite brilliant, if I may say so myself. I bet you got detention for that. Better. We got our own educational decree. That's what Umbridge called them. Fancy word for rules. Oh, Kev told me about her. Really mean witch who tried to take over as headmistress a while back, right? Yep, evil woman. Weaseled her way into Hogwarts after Dumbledore was fired, briefly. So what happened? With the exams and the fireworks. It was the best prank ever. Fred and I had enough of Umbridge. So we took every last firework we made and set them off during the Charms OWLs. One of them chased Umbridge straight out of the hall and destroyed all her precious decrees. They were hung right over there. Must have been hundreds. Felt like thousands.
It was all rather impressive. Everyone got a kick out of it. Except Umbridge. Right, except her. But she had it coming. Like I said, she was pure evil. Sounds like you caused a lot of trouble when you were a student. <laughs> oh, you have no idea.